online this morning, but not for the right reason. A photo of Griffin holding a bloody beheaded Trump is causing a lot of problems. It's a pretty gruesome picture. Now it has some people wondering if she will face any legal consequences for the photo being described as threatening to the president of the United States. Audrey Castrano has more reaction from the internet and the comedian herself. And Audrey, a lot of people are not happy with this. Oh yeah, definitely. This definitely is trending this morning online and it's one joke I'm not sure Kathy Griffin will be able to talk her way out of. We chose not to show the photo in full because of its very offensive and graphic in meaning. It was taken by controversial artist Tyler Shields and it hit the internet and is now trending. Now the comedian is speaking out on Twitter with a public apology. I want you to take a listen. Sincerely apologize. I am just now seeing the reaction of these images. I'm a comic. I crossed the line. I moved the line, then I cross it. I went way too far. The image is too disturbing. I understand how it offends people. It wasn't funny. I get it. I've made a lot of mistakes in my career. I will continue. I asked your forgiveness, taking down the image, going to ask the photographer to take down the image, and I beg for your forgiveness. I went too far. I made a mistake, and I was wrong. But despite taking down the photo, the comedian continues to get that wave of backlash. Donald Trump Jr. tweeting himself, disgusting but not surprising. This is the left today. They consider this acceptable. Imagine a conservative did this to Obama as POTUS. But even some with the left are appalled. Chelsea Clinton saying this is vile and wrong. It is never funny to joke about killing a president. Twitter user Peace Love and Outrage posting, this is disgusting and I'm truly outraged. But people hung Obama in effigy constantly. No one went to jail ever. While others are saying, did Griffin break the law with the photo, calling on the Secret Service to investigate. Secret Service responding with on it, but they never mention Griffin's name. They are saying threats made against a Secret Service protectee receives the highest priority of all our investigation. And what we do know is threats made against the president can lead to a Class E felony under the federal law. But according to a Stanford law professor who spoke to you USA Today. The photo of Kathy Griffin could be protected by free speech. Nonetheless, it is offensive and who knows how it will affect her career. Some who work with Griffin already pulling some of their campaign ads with her. Back to you.